is it safe to put all of my eggs in the Python basket? So that's a question I got from a debater.org uh, newsletter reader, and um, I wanted to cover it in this video. So, well, what does this question really mean, right? Like the way I inter interpret it is that if you're a Python developer, should you just stick 100% to Python? You know, should you build your whole career 100% on Python moving forward? Uh, should you put all of your eggs in one basket and that is Python? And I don't think you should, you know, <laughs> spoiler alert, I don't think you should. Uh, no programmer should do that. You know, in fact, most people don't want to be an XYC programmer, but you want to be a programmer period, right? You want to be sort of a multifaceted person. And even if Python is your favorite programming language and it's how you make your money and it's what you do at the moment, well, in 20 years, hopefully you'll still be able to work with Python. Um, you know, there's people working on COBOL software uh, these days still, and they're making a ton of money because it's there's fewer people around who know the language. But in general, it's a very fluid field and it's moving fast. And I don't think you ever want to put all of your eggs in one basket in the long term. Now, if you're just starting out, then I would kind of do the opposite, right? Because you're not going to have, you're going to be spreading yourself too thin if you're trying to be, um, you know, if you're trying to be sort of a jack of all trades and learn five different languages at the same time. Now, that's not a good idea. But um, in the long term, you want to have the fluidity and the ability to learn a new language, right? So by all means, if you're if you're starting out, if you're in the beginning of your career, then absolutely, you know, focus on Python, get really great at Python, and kind of make a name for yourself as a Python developer. But the day will come where you will have to pick up another language just as part of your job. And it'll most likely actually be a really cool experience for you because you get paid to learn new stuff. And that's one of the things that I always enjoyed the most about programming, working for software development companies, because essentially a lot of times I was getting paid to learn new stuff. And, and sure, people were expecting results, right? But um, I, I thrive on that kind of pressure. And it's, it's great to kind of be thrown into the deep end and having to learn a new language. Or at least, you know, that's the kind of mindset I think you want to have when it comes to this stuff, because otherwise it can get very, very frustrating because you're always sort of on the, on the move and like the industry is, is moving and it is moving but it's also not moving so 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 fast that you have to do this constantly right it's just more about the awareness that in the long term just like with any investment really right like would you put all of your money into a single investment like if you're investing in stocks would you put all of your money into a single stock well, it could go absolutely amazingly great, but it could also completely tank and, and could bankrupt you, right? So at some point, you want to diversify and you want to make sure that you're sort of a well-rounded developer and that you have the skills to adapt to the situation at hand, right? If you'd like to get your own question answered, then just leave a comment below and I'll try and tackle it in one of my next videos.